Greetings, my family. This is Patrick here in Zimbabwe. Just to say that we appreciate you so much for your prayers. We thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for everything that you do for us. You are such a blessing. Um, we are living here in Zimbabwe and things are so trying. The situation is so bad. The political situation is so bad. The economy has collapsed. But we survived because we've got people like you who are praying for us. People like you who are standing with us in our trials. They say for a person to survive, he or she needs accommodation, um, clothing, uh, food, and healthy issues. Uh, but I, Patrick, want to add one more thing there. I think in Zimbabwe, if not in Africa, we need the word of God. We need Christ Jesus more than anything else. I cannot have food. I cannot have clothing. I cannot go for days without eating. I cannot have accommodation. But as long as I have Jesus Christ in my life, my life is covered. But dear brethren, if there is something that you can do for us, it is your prayers. Keep on praying for us. Keep on seeking the Lord for us that we remain still standing in the truth, standing in the word of God, that we remain rooted in the word of God until Christ comes to take us as a church. I'm reminded of the book of Romans chapter 8, the last verses. They say that neither, nothing can separate us from the love of God which is in us, from the love of Jesus Christ which is in us. I cannot have anything I can lack. Uh, during these days we've got cholera, typhoid and a lot of sicknesses. We are going for days without food. The church is suffering everywhere. The community is suffering. The country is suffering. But we need Christ. We need the word of God. If we can be helped, it is to be helped to understand the truth that in heaven there is a God who loves us, regardless of our situations, regardless of our trials. God loves us. Thank you so much, my family. God bless you.